You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger A willing and able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer All busy and pretty, just making believe Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today on what is going to be probably the most hectic yet exciting week on the channel so far. You join me today at Church's Performance Cars, the people who uh, actually sold my Golf R, which is now actually on its way to its new home. So if you're one of you guys who's actually bought the car, then congratulations. Drop me a message because it'll be cool to stay in touch. Um, but yes, this week we have a mental agenda. So there's going to be four chest drive videos coming up consecutively from today, tomorrow, the next day and the next day and then the day after that will be the reveal of the new car. So I'm test driving four cars today. They are all hot hatches um, and all here at Church's Performance. So I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the stock at the moment. As you can see they are specialists in performance cars and also widely hot hatches. Um, and then we shall show you the first test drive which we have got booked for today. Incredibly excited, got lots to do, so let's get stuck in. So here we are then, some of the current stock here at Church's. Now look at this A45, that thing looks stunning with the Paramaricana grille lowered as well. This one I was actually planning to test drive but it has actually just sold. Take that as you will, that might be a clue, it might not be a clue, but either way we've got a white one here, an M140i and uh, a rather familiar looking Golf R. How cool is that? <laughs> so that car is now sold. That is my old car for those who don't know. Um, it is actually being delivered to its new owner in the next few days. A couple of TTs here. I think there's a TTS and a TTRS from the previous generation. Uh, a couple more M140i's up here. Red one, an orange one and a grey one. Sorry, my eyes. I thought that was blue then. Round over this side we have an RS5. We have a Golf R Estate, which is very cool the light interior. I always do think that these things are extremely cool. I mean, comparing this up against maybe an RS6, maybe an RS4, that you just don't see them as much, which is really rather appealing for me anyway. Uh, we have a Focus RS, excuse the camera angles, I'm kind of squeezing in between all of the cars here, We're looking nice in grey with the bucket seats with those big RS logos on. I think someone has the blue calipers as well. Yeah, there we go. Lovely touch. We have an S3 here and then the car which we are test driving first. This is a 2016 Audi RS3. This is the pre-facelifted car but still a monster nonetheless. I think you're looking at about 360 brake horsepower in this. Nearly 500 newton meters. I think it's at like 465 or something. And a 0 to 60 time well into the four seconds. I think it does look quite menacing in black actually, you know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be hopping on board this. Um, so I'm gonna be joined today with Sam, uh, the sales guy here who dealt with the sale of my Golf R and also is a good friend of mine. Um, so we're gonna be meeting up with him going out in this and um, well, seeing what it's like really. So this is the first of the four test drive videos which you'll be seeing this week, which of course will all be leading up to the grand reveal of my new car. Oh, C63 over there in the corner. These things are weapons. <laughs> Put me in a car park with a load of cool cars and I'll just run around them all day. Love these things. Absolute monsters. Anyway, yes, so. We're gonna meet up with Sam just in a minute when she's finished doing some stuff in the office because I'm kind of dragging him away from everything that he's doing today. And then we'll hop in the RS3 and see what it's like. So, welcome back to the channel, Sam. Thank you um, very much. Yeah, you saw my Golf R, haven't you? Uh, yes, yeah, so yes, gone, we have gone. sold the lovely Golf R. Yeah, very sad. But uh, anyway, moving, moving on, on to past is new. Mm, exactly. <laughs> so, you've kindly invited me down here today to test drive four cars. Yes. Um, on the lead up to the reveal of the new one, um, yes. which is all very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're in the RS3, I think. We uh, we've, we've had a little wander around it. Uh, so, I think, without further ado, we should mm -hmm. fire it up. And uh, hit the road. Oh, they do sound good, don't they? Yeah, on startup, that Ooh. initial burble is just crazy. Yeah, listen to that. <laughs> so I've there? I've never driven one of these before. Okay. Never driven one of these before. Um, I've been out in a couple. Um, but yeah, Are you ready? Are you ready? Yep. Hit the road. So it's all fairly similar for me yes. because I came Got from an A1, which is oh, of course. You I mean, can. obviously, yep. completely different cars. As, as you look at them, but different, um, but similar generation, I suppose you could say. Yes. So this is the pre-facelifted car. It is indeed, yeah. Um, yeah. 
Oh, I love this steering wheel as well. <laughs> Half Alcantara. Where are we going? Uh, right, so we're <laughs> going to take a left here. Right, back out onto the road we go. So do you do many RS3s? Yeah, we sell a fair few of these, mainly the pre-facelift models. Okay. Because I think the problem is the facelift models are still sitting in quite a high price bracket. Yeah. They're kind of target audience. Oh really, yeah, so, they're yeah. loads of money. They're like 60 yeah. grand. A good spec one. one, you're looking at like an entry level of about 45 grand, so. Yeah. Is that like not spec at all? No, that's, uh, that's so that's probably standard. like sunroof and B&O and stuff like that. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. something essential. I mean, it's an Audi interior, isn't it? it so you're is. going to know it's nice. that. It's quality. Yeah, that's, that's what it. You get with that's Audi. it. The thing is, though, that the facelift, uh, something between this and the facelift one with that digital dial you get oh, is incredible. Else. But yeah. So I think I mentioned uh, a little bit earlier on, so we're looking at what, 360 brake? Yes, on just these? over. Yeah, about 365. Which so. is mad, isn't it? It's bonkers. I think you know that quite well because you've beat yes. it in your A45. <laughs> it was pretty tight towards the end, though. Yeah, it was, to be yeah. fair. So, yeah. so, those of you who don't know, actually, Sam was in the drag race video. Yes, he has a personal 845, which was good fun. Yeah, very good fun. <laughs> I mean, just cruising along this thing was. Yeah, it's happy to literally pull along at like yeah. general speeds of about 30, but yeah. when you give it some, my God, <laughs> the engine picks up like crazy. Yeah, no, I can imagine. 2.5 turbo as well. So. That's the thing, yeah. yeah. So coming from a 2 litre in the Golf R. Yeah. Um, the little really bit of extra shove like in the mid-range as well is just yeah. so nice. Yeah. yeah. So this car's obviously finished in black. Yes. Um, silver wheels, I noticed. It is, which is an interesting is, spec choice. Yeah, it looks clean. Yes. Subtle, clean, yet still quite aggressive. <laughs> yes, exactly that. Yeah. It's a little bit understated, which I quite like because... Well, that was the thing with the Golf R, wasn't it? This yes. An understated yeah. one, actually. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But no, it's nice. It is a nice place to be. <laughs> and Very obviously, nice. this particular one has got the Bang & Olufsen sports exhaust. Yep. All the essentials. Uh, can you... Oh, yes, yeah, drive select, isn't it? Yes, That's drive nice. select, and then dynamic is your sports exhaust. So you can switch it manual. Yeah. It just feels like it just wants to it's go. Exactly. Yeah. Like <laughs> Get me out of this 40 well. zone. <laughs> mad. Absolutely. Have mad. you driven one of these before? I have, yeah. yeah. I contemplated buying one uh, when I was choosing the A45 actually. Okay, yeah. It was just the A45 for me just had a little bit more about the drama. Yeah. I'm carrying down this road. Yeah. Around there? Uh, yeah. So we can carry left here. Okay. And then we'll go by a Dunsfold. We can go back round. And obviously this passes the Top Gear circuit. <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, the old Top Gear circuit. Wait, is well, that still the current one? Uh, I think they still do a little bit of filming up there. Yeah, bit irrelevant, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. That's what I love about hot hatches, right? You can kind of pull around at them like this. I mean, they're still fairly firm. Yeah, exactly. But when they want to go, they go. Oh, yeah. I mean, this will push a Ferrari 430. Oh, easily, along the B road. Yeah. There's not a lot that's going to keep up with this. Oh, that's it, yeah. Natural speed limit coming up. <laughs> Things <Yeah>. warmed yeah. <laughs> up. <laughs> it's just, Woo! it's like the most exotic sounding pot hatch you can get. That sounds it's amazing. Like, it's almost like a little V10, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's got that rumble. Well, and of course, this is a pre-GPF, and we're way before yeah. GPF, so you way get an exhaust that. noise. <laughs> Proper exhaust. Oh, this sounds incredible. Oh, it's immense. Oh, that little pot there. It shifts as well. It so properly shifts. It's just that little extra bit of power, isn't it? That's it, yeah. It's amazing how much half a litre of an engine can <laughs> make a difference. Yeah, it makes <laughs> such a difference. God, that does sound good, doesn't it? So, this is the factory. Sports exhaust. It is the factory sports exhaust. God. It's that burble as it well, is, isn't it? Yeah. It's that deep tone. It is. Something all the Audi RS cars do now. It's yeah. just so nice. Incredible. So, like I said, this is the first time I've driven one of these. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Actually. It, very impressed. I mean, the way it handles as well is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I'm not pushing it by any means. No. But, uh -huh. I mean, it's still the way it just grips the yeah. road. It's crazy. It's got a lot of road presence, I feel, as well. Oh, yeah. It's got like almost like a uh, stanced appearance from the front. Yeah, it just really yeah. sits down. Oh, those pops and bags will never get off, do they? It's like a, almost like a snap. It is. Aren't they? So it's like on the A45, it's more of a crack than a snap. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. So obviously today we're going to be test driving quite a few cars. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be interesting to kind of go between them, really. It will be. And this certainly wasn't a bad way to start. No, definitely. Straight I mean, into the one, of the, one of the big guns, really, if not yeah. the hot hatch, really. Well, exactly. It's, it's an ever-going debate, really, I suppose. Um, well, like we were saying in the drag race, it's the kind of car we expected to just trounce yes. everything. That's it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so and the steering feels so good as well. Yeah, as well. I imagine it's when you really put it into dynamic, good. it kind of like stiffens it, it up does, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is really nice. A lot of fun. Just looking at the MPG. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing which is. <laughs> but then you, I suppose you don't buy cars like these to worry about the fuel. No, economy, exactly. So. I mean, you don't buy one of these to have a comfy suspension either. No, exactly <laughs> that. See, that's the problem. If I bought one of these, I'd be doing that all the time. Yeah, just, just down shifting, yeah, exactly. up shifting <laughs> for no apparent reason. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this through the camera, but it's it sounds insane. incredible. Oh, oh, oh. Right, Even just at low speeds. Yeah. It's loud. It is very loud. Really loud. And one very appealing thing about these, like most hot hatches nowadays, is how easy you can tune them right up. Yes, <laughs> any fag car nowadays, yeah. tuning wise, is just crazy. I mean, you're a 45, you could go mental yeah. with that. People were taking those up to around 500 brakes, so. Which is, yeah, it's, it's just it's, crazy. They're crazy it? numbers crazy. for like a little hatchback. <laughs> I mean, you think 0 to 60 time in, it's in this as well, of like 3.9 seconds, it's just ridiculous. I thought it was fours. I think it's around 4.2, they quote. Oh, but, but it's pretty sure it's, it's about 3.9 normally, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they always kind of like yeah. give a few little exactly. bit of leeway, really. But yeah, no, but oh, it's a mental. mad thing. <laughs> and obviously, you've got really good brakes in here as well. The brake setup on these RS yes. cars is fantastic. They're big old kit, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice <laughs> to know when you've got that kind of power, you've got sufficient like stoppings. It's just yes, brilliant. Yeah. And comparing this to the S3 quickly, mile ahead, which is yeah. obviously very similar to the Golf R. Because obviously we saw in the drag race how quick the S3 was. Yeah, we don't um, want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> how it smashed me. It's fine, I don't care anymore, I don't know Golf R. Well, exactly that. <laughs> is this double clutch on this? I never remember, I presume it I is. I believe it is a dual clutch, yeah. It's still got quite... It still like gives you a bit of a lurch, which is it quite does. nice. It is nowadays nice. you can just go through the gears and don't even realise that you're doing it. Exactly that, yeah. I can't get over the noise this thing oh, makes <laughs> it's, it's like having a baby R8. Right, it noise. is, that's the thing, yeah. I don't know any other hot hatch that gives you that kind of noise. It's incredible. It sounds like this. <laughs> it's when you go down into first it when is, you're coming down to It's that point, isn't it? And that. It's addictive. I mean, that sound from inside the cabin, how yeah. good that must sound from the outside. And it's going to be a very sound end, as you'd imagine. But I mean, just how much you can pick up speed is yeah. It's crazy. frightening, isn't it? It yeah. is frightening. And I imagine that's going to be the case with every car we test drive <laughs> today. Much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I mean, obviously your Golf R was not slow by any means. No. A lot of these cars, it's just incredible. One thing to know as well, we've got a lovely Quattro system in this. Yes, we do. Quattro um, four which drive. just helps. I mean, you can have a 365 brake car to the rear wheels and it won't feel this fast. No. It's all because of that. It just, just rips and goes. It's so instant. I don't know what we got going on here, but <laughs> any excuse to downshift. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, it God. should be illegal. <laughs> the thing is, as well, that's just a sports exhaust. I mean, if you were to yeah. buy it and say add like, a Miltec, for example, yeah. it would just be crap. Or just stick a downpipe on it. Yeah, exactly. And that, that yeah. would be like a headache. <laughs> obviously, buying cars like this, you're not going to keep it standard. Though. No, well, I'm not anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's the trait of owning a hot hatch. I think. Yeah, well, I mean, hot hatches are meant to be driven on roads like this, to be yes. fair. You've got a nice little test exactly. drive route. Another excuse to downshift. Yeah. But this is the first car we're test driving and I always already want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's certainly not a bad upgrade to a golf bar. That's no, it's saying. not actually. I mean, it's kind of like a almost a natural progression. Yeah, I, I mean, I think from the golf bar, you're either looking Focus RS A45. Yeah. Obviously, we might test drive the Renault Megane today as well. That yep. might come into Which play. Which I thought we'd throw into the mix because yeah. that. It's a good, bit different, really. Isn't it's it? a bit of a wild card that one, yeah, actually. Yeah. Mm. Don't see too many about of the new Megan RSs. No, you don't. This isn't the one which is worth like seventy-two grand. <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> the top well, edition. No, that was ridiculous. Yeah, it's seventy-two grand for a Renault Megan is going a bit steep. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be a. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a busy old week on the channel. I'm going to yeah. be editing or driving all day, editing all night. But yeah, no. I imagine your next car is going to change quite a bit as we drive along these uh, roads and these different Yeah, cars. true. Well, it's going to be interesting because we're obviously going to be doing the same route, I imagine. Yes, we'll all, do the same route on all four. Cars, which will be interesting to compare. And obviously, them. we'll be going between DSG transmissions, manual yes. gearboxes. Yeah, got a bit of manual in there as well. Got the dog leg transmission in the Megane, which Ooh. will be interesting. Uh, where are we going here? Right? Uh, yep. And then straight on behind that. Brilliant. Down here. I know where I am now. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I think that's well. I think we're nearing the dealership now, anyway. We so are. I think we're gonna wrap that one up. But uh, the first of four very interesting test drives. Yes. Um, not bad way to start. At all. Definitely not. It's gonna take a lot of beating, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but anyway, no. Thank you again yeah, um, no for, for giving me this opportunity, and make sure you tune into the future test drives, and then of course the grand reveal, which will yes. be this Saturday um, at 6 p.m. UK time. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the Church of the Fulman links down in the description and down below. Plenty of hot hatches for you guys to feast your eyes on. <laughs> I mean, um, I just found myself walking around the car. Yeah, like, exactly. Ooh, V8 yeah, A35 A35, yeah, I haven't shown them that yet. Exactly. Bright yellow. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger, a willing and able.